All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Dank Casting Incorporated, we're in here, ready to go. Berkeley College of Music versus Northeastern University. Dia Team Battle. This should be a pretty good game, folks. I think these are the most uh, even teams that we're having out here today. And right off the bat, we Dia see a Troll Team Warlord ban. Wonder where that idea came from. The last game, the Troll Warlord wrecked face and the Sniper ban as well. Not surprising at all. Troll Warlord and Sniper is a classic combo that you're going to see a lot in these games. However, Axe, for the first Dia time, slipped Team through the banning pool, and he's going to get first picked right away. One of those heroes, Axe, is that... He can either shut down a game completely, just completely wreck one lane, and you know make make the enemy's team's life hell. Especially if we're looking at a rain or a, uh, if we're looking at a melee carry, Axe is gonna make that kid's day hell. It's gonna not be fun for that guy. He's just gonna tank up and get those axe swings going, and you know it's not gonna be fun for him. We're gonna see Marana picked up by Dyer. First time we've seen Marana as well, so some new heroes in the in the pool today. That should be exciting. Tide Hunter and a Tide Hunter as well. Once again, this is the first time that we've seen a Tide today, so pretty excited about that. Hopefully, we get some nice big old ravages. Um, and a Zeus picked. Um, Dire team bad. Yeah, this should be good. That will help scout out the, his alt can scout out the Marana ultimate, so um, that'll be helpful in the later Radiant game, especially. We're also gonna see a Slark ban and a Bane ban. So the Bane is being banned here for the classic uh, Bane Marana combo of Nightmare to Arrow. Um, Ten seconds remaining. No surprise there. And a Juggernaut ban. We haven't seen any Juggernaut Dying this tournament, surprisingly. Uh, one of the, you know, big heroes in the current meta, and surprised not to see him too much right now. Ten seconds. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Burr. Excuse me. Reserve time. <sighs> Dire team pick. We're also going to see a lion get banned out. So, one of those heroes that has a lot of disable. A lot of burst damage, and he's been pretty big in the current meta, so not surprised to see him as uh, some top band material. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. And we're going to see an Enigma picked. Team pick. Looking for the massive team fight here. And without Dire much surprise, pick. we're also going to see a Rubik picked up right away. So Rubik is going to have a ton, a ton, a ton of spell steal material right here. He's going to have Arrow. He's going to have Midnight Shadow. He's going to have the Ravage. He's going to have the Black Hole. He's going to be a busy boy out there with all the stuff he's got to steal. So we're looking forward to that. Insane. See a nice big stolen Black Hole into a stolen Ravage. Team pick. It would be a lot of fun. And we're gonna get the Ember Spirit picked up here as well. So they're looking for a massive team fight combination right now. Um, it's also pretty greedy. They have not many hard supports, and it looks like they're probably gonna. If if Marana is going carry, then they're gonna need one more support. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised to see Marana carry, Tide off lane, Enigma jungle, Ember mid, and something like. 
Ten mm. seconds remaining. Not really sure what they'd put uh, as support with the Marana. They definitely gonna need a support remaining. though. They could go for potentially something like a uh, Coddle. You know, bring some more global Reserve presence. Um, adds that team fight, uh, or maybe something with more stuns. We'll see. Uh, Which doctor wouldn't be bad here either. Just have a huge combination with all these heroes and kind of um, have the ultimate wombo combo team fight. If you get that black hole into Witch Doctor Ultimate with the Ember Spirit flying through there, you're going to have a bad day. We're going to see the PA band out, uh, as well as the, the uh, what's, his, what's his name? Cancer Lancer. He's also going to get banned out. So right now, looking for another support, I think, though. So I'm not sure I totally agree with the fan the Phantom Lancer ban, because uh, they're definitely going to need another support for Berkeley. Um, my bets, Witch Doctor. Oh, Spectre. Okay. So they're going super greedy right now. This is interesting. Um, their global presence is definitely pretty high with the uh, Spectre, but I'm not sure, I don't know, uh, I guess this could work out pretty well. It, it should be interesting though, they don't have many reliable stuns, um, like single target type reliable stuns. They've got uh, Enigma with his, uh, whatever that thing is called, and they got Shackle on the Five Ember Spirit, but remaining. besides that, not looking at too much. Reserve time. So this is the semi-final match, and after this, uh, the winner of this game is going to advance to the finals against Boston University, who has so far been undefeated. Last pick coming out here for Radiant Team, probably going to be looking for a carry. Uh, Night Stalker. They're going to go for a Night Stalker carry. Okay. So last time we had a Night Stalker picked, he definitely was a big presence in the in the, uh, in the safe lane. More so than I expected. Um, we'll see if he's able to get off to the same crazy start he was last time, and uh, if so, looks like uh, Berkeley College Music's in for a bad time. Seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Prepare for battle. Alright folks, and we are in the game right now. Let's go over the team's starting lineups. Uh, we got Teacher QI on the Spectre. Interesting, as uh, last game he was on the Pudge in mid, so switching around a bit, get a new lineup. Got last ticket on your Marana support. Um, 647 is going to be on your Ember Spirit. Uh, Pooh Ball 420 is going to be your Jungling Enigma, and Gunshy is going to be on your um, on your Tidehunter offlane right now. Over on the Radiant side, we've got Night Stalker uh, as Pet Rock. He's going to be in the safe lane as he was last time. Uh, Elmo is King is going to be our uh, support vengeful spirit mid. Right now we have Akalake Balkan on that uh, Rubik as well as Jong Boys as uh, Jong's Jong's by on the Zeus. Um, and on our off lane, of course, the Axe. It's a pretty neat setup right here. It's got the immortal and some rare stuff. That's pretty cool. Um, so top lane looks like, uh, yeah, Berkeley's just gonna get that rune, and bottom lane Ember Spirit's gonna get that one. So 
You even trade for the runes, as is typical. Nothing too exciting going on there. Start off the match. Let's see how this goes. Nice little aggressive ward here placed by your uh, Tide Hunters. To be able to not really see too much though. You kind of messed it up. Um, it's going to see some rotations down here, but it doesn't really give that much vision over here. As you can see, it's kind of just right there. So not very helpful. Um, up top, Spectre versus your Axe is not going to be a fun lane for Spectre. Um, she definitely needs a lot of space, and in early game she's not very strong, so he's just going to be able to zone her out really, really hard. Um, looks like last ticket's just hanging out mid, uh, try and hit an arrow maybe on your Zeus. Um, there's no aggressive wards here from the Radiant, so they're not going to be able to see any of this. Um, I guess she's just going to go back up top though, and do what she can up there. Are you going to see some pull throughs happening with your Rubik, uh, stacking and pulling, making sure that your gun shy uh, tide hunter over here does not get any farm. Some pressure going on against this axe, but you know he'll be all right. He'll survive. Um, right now we're looking at already. Your jungling enigma is doing pretty well. It's taking some camps over here. I got a lot of CS. Jungling enigma is a very, very strong jungler. Um, he's definitely gonna be able to get a lot of farm down there. But the question is, will um, will Spectre be okay by herself over here uh, against this axe with just a Marana to help? It's gonna be kind of hard. So we'll see how it works. Uh, mid lane, this matchup is pretty even, I'd say. Um, Ember Spirit's got his Flame Guard, and we've got our nukes over here from our Zeus. So, right now, uh, they are pretty even. A little bit more last hits on the Zeus, but to be expected with his uh, nukes, quite helpful. Um, right now, we got our Tide Hunter uh, bot off lane. It's got some pretty good levels, however, this axe is definitely doing a lot better as far as experience um, in the offlane, so he definitely has the advantage as far as that goes. Uh, just gonna keep on gushing up and try to deny some experience and soak some experience in. It'd be great if he could get up a little bit closer, get some uh, bashes off on this, um, this Night Stalker, but alas, to no avail. And Axe is going to start playing pretty aggressive now. He feels comfortable to just go out here and tank up some creeps behind tower. Um, make that Spectre soak in a lot of damage. He's going to take an arrow and a Spectral Dagger. And it looks like he could be in trouble now, but he gets the call off. Misses on the Marana, and he's going to have to walk out of there. Uh, again, Axe is so tanky, he's, he's going to be okay. But right now we've got a gank going on mid. You got your Venge and your Rubik over here, as well as, uh, yep, stun gets thrown out. Hiding behind tower, but it's not going to work out. The stuff gets thrown down, and uh, your Ember Spirit is going to end up going down. Up top, faking the call on the axe. Uh, QI is just going to try and get as much farm as he can. He's doing all right. He's got 10 CS, but this axe is 15 in the off lane, which is pretty incredible right now. So, right now, I feel like uh, Northeastern got a much better draft than Berkeley did. Um, Berkeley went pretty, pretty uh, greedy with this jungle um, axe or jungle uh, enigma as well as their support Marana. So. They're going to have to pay for that, and hopefully it will work out for them. But right now, this axe is just not afraid of anything. He's got his tranquil boots up, and he's just farming away in there. Mid lane, our Zeus has got his bottle and boots, as well as a bottle on our Ember Spirit. Right now, Zeus is uh, its a pretty even lane right now. Zeus you know, can't do too much harass before the, the Ember Shield is gone, but he's able to at least keep up on last hits. Um, yeah. We're going to see a rotation mid by our Marana. Maybe try and land a nice arrow. Oh, but we also have a rotation here from our Venge. And she's going to spot out the Marana. Um, and, yeah, but we also have... Ooh, if he could get... Our Enigma could get picked off right here if he's not careful. If he takes too much damage. Yep. Looks like he might get picked off. 
And, ooh, actually, the stun is going to keep him alive. And now, it might be the Venge that's in trouble of getting picked off. The arrow is going to fly, and it's not going to land. So, the Venge might walk out of here scot-free, but lucky, lucky Enigma. And right now, our uh, Spectre is definitely taking a pretty good amount of damage. Axe is going aggressive, and another arrow is going to fly free and not hit anything. So, right now, got to be really careful for that. Uh, if Axe can get him below 250, he can just smash him and he'll die. Uh, 240. He's definitely in. He's in. Yeah, there he goes. And the stun will finish this kill off, or even just a. Uh, even just a battle cry. And now. This axe is really just going to start snowballing pretty hard. There's not much they can do to stop him. And down here, looks like we got an engagement. Oh, Zeus has a double damage, and he's going to pull away from that one and ahead. Now it's 5-0. Northeastern off to an early start, early lead. Um, it's going to be hard for Berkeley to come back from this one. I, I mean, the... The... Mar the... 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 Fucking shit. Uh... <laughs> The Spectre is, is not going to have a good time farming against this axe, and she's going to take a long time to be online. Right now, she's just looking at barely more than boots. 17 last hits. Not ideal at all. Um, however, one way that they're going to be able to come back attack. is through some ancient stacking from this Tidehunter. So, to get to give them the benefit of the doubt, they definitely have the Wombo combo on the side of Berkeley. If they can get a Black Hole... Tide Ravage into huge Ember Spirit jump arounds, then they could have something going good, good for them. But looks like um, Nemo is going to get caught. But while that's happening, he's not going to die. Uh, Zeus is going to zone everyone out with that big ultimate. He's going to throw out some right clicks. One more right click is going to get it. Ooh, not a great place to hide. He would have gotten away if he just walked away. Um, but. But Spectre is going to get a return kill on Revenge, so at the end of the day, uh, definitely not a good trade, but something on Spectre is better than nothing, so. Meanwhile, Axe is farming and farming and farming. He's close to his Blink Dagger. Once that happens, it's going to be bad news bears for uh, the rest of the team. He's actually on, he's almost got it now, uh, 100 gold away. And they've spotted the Venge. Um, they've spotted the... Not the Venge. They spotted the Rubik. And he might be in trouble over here. They still have a walking courier at 8 minutes in, which is surprising. He gets caught by a short range arrow into the Spectre alt. Uh, if Spectre can haunt in and throw a... Throw a dagger. Oh, wow. Ember Spirit's gonna get shot down by that bolt. But will the dagger be enough? Oh, 9 HP left. Meanwhile, Axe is coming in from behind. This could be very dangerous, as well as the Ember Spe as well as the Vengeful Spirit. So, they're gonna back off. They're gonna play it safe. Already though, Northeastern off to a s fantastic start. Um, this Axe pick has just really been working out very well for them. He's gonna pick up his Blink Dagger now, and that's gonna be huge. Um, Gunshy, stacking Ancients, gonna be on the third stack before too long, which will be definitely helpful. Uh, Nemo is going to get spotted out here. Our last ticket is actually going to be the one who gets spotted out, and he might just get right clicked down by Nemo. That looks like what might happen. Wow. Big alt from, uh, from your Zeus into the Culling Blade of uh, Axe. Going to be two more kills going the way of uh, Northeastern already. And they're going to spot out the ward up there. So now Northeastern is even dewarding with the, with the Lightning Bolts of Zeus. And... Uh, it's just not looking good for uh, for Berkeley College right now. Smart move by Ember Spirit throwing his um, his Ember whatever thing back there. He's gonna need it back there. Uh, if Axe jumps on him, he could be he could be pretty messed up. Ooh, was able to cancel the call right before it went off. Well played. Down bottom, Pet Rock still farming away. Just like last game, they went 4 and 5. Pet Rock got his Midas and just kind of farmed all day. Uh, hopefully, that looks like their. That looks like what's, that's what their game plan is right now. Tide coming in. Gonna try and stop this push from happening. Uh, he's level 6, so. You know, not much compared to your Axe offlane. 
He was level 8 right now, as well as having 3 kills. Um, he's gonna get spotted out by your Spectre haunt right now, and so will Rubik. And Spectre's gonna run away. He's gonna go in on Pet Rock. I'm not sure if that was a great idea. And they're gonna miss the Ravage. Oh my goodness. But, oh, and the arrow misses also. Do they get the chains off? Anything. Come on, guys. Alright. And now this is just a completely lost fight. They're gonna have to run away. That's a three kills. Huge turnaround. Not at all what you wanted to see. A fourth one could be coming soon. No. He's gonna get away. And Marana is gonna get her arrow caught by a creep. It looks like this is now gonna turn into a tower push by Northeastern. And uh, is there any heal over here for this guy? Not yet. Rubik choosing to go Tranquil Boots. Not something I would recommend. Uh, I feel strongly that the Arcane Boots are a stronger item on Rubik, but clearly it's working Dyer's well for them, so. Axe is going to aggressively blink, blink forward, try to spot out some enemy action. He's not afraid of anything right now. He's got a lot of HP, a lot of money, and a lot of farm, so he's going to be fine to just walk in there and waltz away free. Spectre's trying to get some farm up top. Looks like she's going to go for a poor man's shield, and uh, I doubt she's going to go for anything else. I doubt she's going to go Radiance. It's a little bit too late for that. Um, it's not going to work out for her if she goes for that. I, I, Diffusal Blade could be a good choice here. Um, try and, you know, mana drain that, that axe. Can't get his abilities off. It's always good. Um, Tidehunter's farming up this ancient stack. It's closer to his Blink Dagger, but still about 500 gold away so he's gonna definitely need to farm that up before too long over in mid lane we got last ticket ready to hit an arrow hopefully and nope misses again unfortunately uh it looks like ember spirit could be dead but he actually manages to dodge the zeus ultimate with his uh leap and marana is gonna barely live on 30 hp but now uh, with all of Northeastern mid, they might turn this into a push. Uh, Marana has to go back. The entire team of Berkeley is low right now. Um, that Zeus salt just really hurt them all. So, with a full HP team, looks like Northeastern is going to try to contest this. Um, maybe throw out Ember Spirit chains or whatever. Sleight of Fist. Try to get some damage on there. Stop the push. And Northeastern is going to split back up again. Going back up top. Rubik buying some wards. Hand of Midas on cool. Oh, just Midas creep, dude. Come on. Oh, the silence. Only level one right now. Only going to have a duration of, what is it now? Five. But will it be enough? Yep, it will. With the axe coming in, that's a kill. Uh, 15 to two right now. Berkeley is just not having a great time. Uh, this axe has been doing work for them so far this game. As well as this Ven, she's been making a lot of plays happen. Uh, been all over the map, you know, making it possible for stuff to happen. Uh, gonna get a good kill here on Spectre, as well as probably... Ooh, Pet Rock could be in trouble. If he, uh, nope, he's gonna be able to get away from tower range. We have a Zeus ult, he's gonna pick off two of them in just a second. There we go. Big Zeus ultimate. <laughs> Not so fast. Gunshy is gonna barely get away. Has enough money for his Dyer's blink dagger. Thirteen minutes in. Attack. Not that's ideal. So uh, wow, that's not great. Your uh, Ember Spirit's gonna teleport in, Dyer's taking down to almost tower. half health attack. immediately, and uh, have to leap back to base. So this T1 tower is gonna go down, and I imagine that Northeastern is just gonna keep Dyer's on pushing. Middle tower has fallen. They're pretty unstoppable right now. Gunshy, however, does have his Blink Dagger, ready to make some plays. Haven't seen a black hole yet. Uh, the Blink Dagger is also up on Enigma, so... This could be, this could be what uh, Berkeley needed. It might be a little bit late. <laughs> After a almost 12,000 gold lead uh, has been accumulated for Northeastern. But this could be what they need. They need to group up. They need to get a good wombo combo team fight going. And they need to just shut down uh, Berkeley or Northeastern as much as they can. This axe has just been farming nonstop. He's been getting experience all over the map. He's been getting all sorts of all sorts of uh, 
creeps and whatever, so he's gonna take this stack over here. Oh, maybe not. He might go for the engagement that's going down over here. Arrow gonna fly, hit nobody. Stun gonna go down. That Enigma's gonna go down quickly, not gonna be able to get a black hole off. Zeus ultimate going off. Ravage, you're gonna catch four. Is it enough to take them away from the fight? They can disengage. Ember Spirit's going back in. Alright, and for some reason, wow, the Spectre's able to go in, pick off one, ends up dying, probably not worth it. They're going to go take a T3, T2 tower now, potentially push on to the T3. However, uh, most of Berkeley is up already due to their short respawn times, so it looks like uh, Northeastern's going to be backing out, going home, get some farm, get some, get some gold, get some money, some XP heal up and uh just try to weather the storm over here we see an axe oh he already has his yule scepter he could be going down unless with this arrow oh arrow does not hit uh rubik is gonna throw this ember spirit onto a cliff but he's got he's got leap so he'll be all right he's got fire remnant Axe continuing to farm up, going for a Shiva's Guard, and that will be an extremely early Shiva's Guard. He's only 500 gold away, 400 gold away, so we're looking at a 18 minute Shiva's Guard right here, which is ridiculously quick. Um, change this over to gold per minute, net worth, net worth. This Zeus has picked up his Vitality Booster and his cyclone so he's looking he's looking pretty good he's got plenty of regen oh nemo's king trying to make some plays might be a bit aggressive he's gonna get caught out but can they save him zeus going in black bolt on three he's gonna get interrupted zeus all oh, going off he's gonna cycle himself throw himself up in the air everyone's low four heroes go down axe it will get in there with a big call and end that fight right as quickly as it started All right, it looks like Northeast isn't gonna take this tower now. Bottom tower is under attack. Only able to get one hero. Zeus might even do some de-warding up there. Oh, he's a little bit hurt, so he might be going back to base at this point. Nuke down the creep wave, continue pushing. That's the strategy right now. Probably gonna leave it at that. Maybe go take a Roshan or something. Continue pushing mid, who knows. Looks like they're just gonna split up and farm. Probably a smart idea. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Spectre's gonna haunt in. Not sure what he's trying to accomplish with this. Uh, most people have enough farm. It looks like he's gonna try to go in on Axe. Uh, he should probably finish that. He's low. And Axe is just gonna blink away. He was one or two hits away from dying. I think uh, Spectre had that one. Not sure what made him turn around. Maybe he was worried about backup, not sure. Axe is not that big yet, though. The Shiva's Guard definitely helped. And uh, now, the man that we've been forgetting about, your pet rock, a.k.a. Night Stalker, has just been farming all game long. He's got his black kicking bar, he's got his hand in Midas, and he's ready, to, he's ready to go. He's ready to tear shit up. Meanwhile, mid lane, Nemo's king looking to make some fights happen. Oh, stun dodge. But all just gonna go off and catch them before he can disappear into Moonlight Shadow. Moonlight Shadow, however, has been popped. And they could look to make something happen from this. But looks like they're just gonna back up, defend their TT Tower, and leave it at that. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. See, Pet Rock doesn't even need to be in any of these fights. He's going back to base. He he he's got whatever he needs. He's fine. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's middle tower is under Axe attack. Axe hiding in the trees over here. Could look for some pickoff potential. Black hole still on cooldown for another 60 seconds. Ember Spirit is gonna get locked down. Big black hole on four. Axe is gonna get in and get a call. Gonna get the kill. Gonna get smashed. Dunked down on that Tide Hunter. However, at the same time, Rubik is gonna go down and they will back up. 
regen rune up here. Wow, axe, the culls, and the dunks. It's that's that's all she wrote. Not much going on here. Northeastern, just rolling through. Axe is able to just initiate anywhere across the map. Catch these people out. Get a few spins and dunk them. It's the story of this game right now. I'm gonna take the T2 tower and move on to possibly the T2 top, which has been pushed in right now. Uh, or maybe Roshan. With the medallion of courage, they could do Roshan pretty quickly. And um, looks like what's what they're gonna move forward to. Let's say you just choose to split up and farm, but I think Roshan would be a good objective for them to take right now. All the, most of the lanes are pushed in, and, uh, yep, looks like they're gonna go for Roshan. With that minus armor from Nemo, he's gonna really be able to just take them apart. They look for wards, don't see anything. They're gonna be able to take this Roshan really quickly. However, they're spotting it. They're coming in with the Wombo combo. Black Hole's up. Ravage is down. If they blink in and get a big old Black Hole, this could be huge. This could turn the game around. They're all five right here. Okay, they get a... Black hole, let's go. Let's go, get the black hole. Come on, dude. Oh, no. He's not going to be able to blink in. His blink's going to be interrupted by the zoo salt. He's not going to be able to get in there. Zoo salt was able to bring down half these heroes to extremely low health. And Pet Rock is going to be the one who walks away with the Aegis. Wow. And this Marana is just going to get exploded. I think with this, they can either choose to go high ground or continue just pushing top. Your Spectre is in a pretty vulnerable position right now. Might choose to just dagger into the trees and hide. Um, TP out. All of the Northeastern squad is coming up here. Ready to push out the lane. Get a fight going. Ooh, that Scream of Terror was pretty close to uh, catching out that Spectre over there. But Nemo is just going to push this lane and Roxas is going to just cut the wave and keep it going. They're going to take this T2 tower and probably move on. Uh, go up high ground with this Aegis, I'd expect. Pet Rock, um, looking for a basher now. Um, he's pretty close too. Maybe it's an MKB. I think it's a basher. It's a basher. You're going to be searching for wards up here. Nothing spotted. Cut the wave again. Arrow's going to land, finally, on Nemo, but not much that can do. Dyer's top tower is under There's gonna be some damage, and the push will continue. Spectre pushing out mid lane. She has haunt, so she can come in at any time, but this push is just unstoppable. Axe is up front. He's got his he's got his Shiva's, he got three thousand six hundred more gold in the bank. He's ready to go. Ooh, Spectre's gonna get caught out, and she's gonna get called, and she's gonna get dunked. Maybe not. Maybe just killed. No dunk. Just killed. That's a big loss, though. She does have buyback. What is she saving for? It looks like she was trying to go for Sanjure, uh... Not a Sanjinyasha. You know, freaking uh... Ooh, made to sell. That's what she was going for. Arrow gonna not catch anyone. Is Rebek have anything stolen right now? No. You'd definitely go for a uh, arrow. That'd be nice to have. We gotta push high ground with the last two minutes of this Aegis. Nighttime will be initiated, and uh, Axe is just going to blink in aggressively and scare everyone away. Um, three fire remnants in this mid lane right here. Uh, it's dangerous, and he's just going to die. That was a dangerous in initiation. Axe, uh, Tidehunter is just going to get called. Not going to be able to get his, uh, tie his ravage off. This looks like it's a, this looks like it's game, folks. Uh, Axe, it will get in there with a the call. 
just stop anything from happening. Dyer's bottom barracks are under attack. Looks like they're hoping Dyer's to get a black hole off. But the Rubik is smartly positioned further behind the rest of the team, so even if they do get a black hole off, there's just gonna be lift into stolen black hole and that's gonna be all she wrote. That's gonna be a turn around very quickly, so the fact of the matter is that they don't really have any opportunity to get a black hole off unless they can get the rubric in it as well. Um, so that's definitely something you need to be aware of. Uh, it looks like Northeastern is going to go for the fake back off and then they're just going to hide in the trees and come right back around, kill off the Ember Spirit, and probably go back in. You can go in mid if they wanted to now. Spectre's gonna haunt, uh, and there's gonna be a Ravage catching three. Do we see a black hole? Anytime soon, black hole is gonna catch three, four, four band black hole. But is it gonna be enough? Nemo's gonna go down. Zeus is gonna go down. Axe is still fighting. He's still up. He's gonna dunk the Spectre, and it's gonna be four man for one. Uh, that was basically one of the best fights they could have gotten. You know, the only thing that could have gone better there is if. They got five-man Ravage into five-man Black Hole, but that's an unlikely uh, s series of events. Black Hole, or Ember, whatever his name is, he's back up, but he's still got two minutes, or three minutes cooldown on that. They're going to get caught with the arrow, but it's not going to work out. Nothing's going to come from it. He's just going to right-click and then get killed. Just a die back on your, uh, on your Enigma, and... You got one seconds up, and so tides up. You got your buyback on your Spectre, Dyer's but there's no buyback. Fallen. I think they recognize this game's over, but this is the last Dyer's game for Berkeley, and uh, they're probably just gonna play this one out until the end. Racks are going down. Pet Rock once again, just hitting like a truck. Gonna blink in for the tide once they have the. Uh, they have the Midnight Shadow up, but Spectre's just gonna get caught, gonna get called, he's gonna get dunked, he's gonna just, he's just gonna get killed. Oh wow, manages to stay alive with the wand charges, but Nemo's gonna find him and kill him. Um, another big old fight gone down. Roxas manages to uh, misses Cole and Poopball420 just blinks away from there. Uh, <laughs> pretty derpy fight. Big old kill from uh, Zeus. Doing a lot of damage. Let's see where the fight recap is. Yeah. You know, they could get a kill on Pet Rock here. Nice. That's a big kill, but GG well played is called. And that's going to be all she wrote. GG was called, but the game is still going on. Maybe for one last hurrah. We'll see. Don't know who's there. Uh, completely whiffed arrow. Not gonna hit anyone.
Roxas once again canceling his call. He's got a full on heart. Jesus Christ, this guy's farmed. It's a big old Zeus ult. Black Hole is gonna catch Pet Rock, and uh, that's not not much gonna come from that. Rubik's gonna steal Black Hole. That's big news, Bears. Dyer's top tower is under attack. GG's gonna be called once again. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. And hopefully this will be the end. There it goes. All right. Well, that's the end of that game, folks. Uh, not much to say there. Northeastern coming away with the win. They're going to advance to the finals against Boston University. Uh, it's a best of three. Boston University is coming in the into the game with a one game advantage. So. Um, in order to win, Northeastern is going to have to take two games. Boston University only needs to take one. Uh, in the in the last ma matchup against these two teams, uh, Boston University was able to walk away with the victory. So we'll see if uh, Northeastern is going to be able to repel them, or if they're going to be able to, um, or if they're going to fall to Boston University's power once again. A strong showing this game from Northeastern. Hopefully, they can have some similar. Uh, Hurrah in this game, and uh, we'll see it. We'll see about having a good game. So stay tuned. Finals coming up very shortly. Uh, hope to see you all there. And here is music. Uh, what time is it right now? I probably have like an hour and a half left. 